Hey folks, Michael Collins here, EnviroReporter.com on November 16th, 2011. It's a Wednesday. We're going to have another HEPA filter test. The last time we uh, tested these filters, as you've seen on EnviroReporter.com, was on October 3rd, which was 44 days ago. However, during that time, Denise Ann and I took a trip to the Eastern Sierras in Death Valley to take uh, radiation readings, amongst other things, and uh, we uh, checked the snowpack in the Eastern Sierra. We checked the uh, uh, water coming down from the Eastern Sierra and are happy to report that what we found was nothing extra at the time. However, on our last day in Death Valley, a storm rolled through that uh, covered uh, the higher de elevations in Death Valley with snow and that same storm which was a jet stream storm uh, glanced off of Los Angeles and as you know from looking at our site that that rain came in at 322 percent of normal over three times normal now that is not good it's three times background now just to review a little bit background radiation is from cosmic radiation it is from the stars in the daytime it's from the sun um, we don't measure when we're in the sun uh, background radiation also comes from the soil in the form of thorium uranium and radium isotopes that occur naturally in the soil when we do these kinds of readings we always use background as sort of a way to measure how much over we are if indeed we're over at all but make no mistake the radionuclides that cause the overage are much more dangerous than the radionuclides that form background because we have a triple meltdown melt through and melt out going on in Japan at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear complex nonstop since March 11, 2011 over eight months ago it is so bad that we have evidence of corium which is the melted core interacting with the groundwater underneath the plant you cannot control that Japanese government TEPCO, which runs the place, came out in just the last couple of days and said, well, we're not really sure where the fuel is. Folks, this isn't good. That's why we have these HEPA filters. And uh, we've had them since March 19th, and we've reported on their readings ever since. Now, usually, fallout comes down in the form of precipitation. And we did have that one jet stream storm which did show such high radiation. Uh, three and a half times normal is nothing compared to some of the readings we've been getting around the country in the Northwest, in Canada, uh, and north of St. Louis, for example, where our friend Porter Blog has uh, detected in excess of 170 times background in their rain. That's the bread basket of America, folks. That's fallout big time. Now, where does that three times background equals dangerous come from? I've had people ask me to source that, so I shall. The EPA is divided into different regions around the United States. One of them is Region 9, and that includes California. Uh, on an, in a November 30th, 2007 report on the Santa Susana Field Laboratory, about 30 miles northwest of downtown Los Angeles, the site of America's worst partial nuclear meltdown in 1959, far worse in terms of releasing radionuclides from the reactor uh, structure than Three Mile Island was 20 years later in 1979. The sodium reactor experiment experienced a partial meltdown and up to hundreds of times more, radio, uh, more radiation in certain radionuclides was released during that time. Uh, in this November 30, 2007 EPA report, it says uh, a hazardous substance is to, com is to be, pardon me, a hazardous substance is considered to be present at a concentration significantly above background levels when one of the two criteria is met. The hazardous substance is detected in the contaminated sample when not detected in background samples. We have a case of that here. Or two, and this is more important, the hazardous substance is detected in the contaminated sample 
at a concentration equal to or greater than three times the maximum background level when detected in the background samples. Now, our background that we just took in here is 43.5 counts per minute. We do it in the counts to make it easier on you and also you can average in uh, CPM or counts per minute when using an inspector alert. Of course, we could also measure in millirem per hour, or millisieverts, you know, we, we could do that, but we'd make it easy on you. So what we're going to do is, what you see in front of you is you see three different filters. This is our Kenmore Plasma Wave HEPA filter. This is a water pick air cleaner and ionizer filter, very old as you can see. And this is our Honeywell barrel style HEPA filter and air cleaner. Both these machines we got on March 19th. What you're seeing down in these plates are debris vacuumed from these air cleaners so we can test it, but also so we make our air cleaners more efficient that they can suck in more air. What we should get out of these samples is nothing over background. If we get anything over background, we know that it's from a radioactive source, uh, and that source, the most obvious suspect, is the Fukushima Daiichi plant. So let's just get this show on the road and see if that Kenmore over here, if this has anything more than um, background of 43.5 counts per minute. I'll let you listen to the inspector, which is on audio. The inspector has a plus or minus 15% margin of error. So anything within 15% either way, we just sort of discount. It's going up, obviously. Certainly in excess of that 15%. over double background. That's in your air, Los Angeles. You're breathing it. Hundred and twenty four. Hundred and thirty two. Hundred and thirty four. I have to be very careful not to touch the goo, or I could uh, contaminate the inspector. Can't have that. Radiation doesn't ionize homogeneously. We've talked about this before. We topped out at 134. It's a 30 second average, rolling 30 second average meaning it changes every three seconds. Okay, so on this Kenmore, topped out at a 134. Let's check out the water pick.
much smaller sample so it's bound to give us less but it should be 43.5 this is also working in the same room as the Canmore plasma wave so I have two machines in one room well, this isn't that much higher topped out at about 60 my experience with inspectors goes back to 1999 um, and I can tell you that this looks to be coming in considering the margin of error right around normal so that did top out at 60 so we write 60 that's counts per minute. Now we have one more sample. It's the Honeywell over here. You see the barrel. I think I'll move the camera. Get it on in there. See what we get. Once again, whoops, kick the camera. Once again, do not ever touch your inspector or any other radiation detecting instrument to your sample. Now I have to wash my hand after that, but I'm holding the, the inspector in my right hand. Another hot one. Sometimes when you spot detect on these filters, you'll get a higher number than you would in these aggregates, oddly enough. It's because you can't be sure you're getting everything when you vacuum out the, um, the filters themselves. And then it topped out at about 64. So, what's this all mean? Well, it means in that one of our HEPA filters, HEPA filters, Denise Ann keeps correcting me, we have 134 counts per minute. We have about 64 over here. So, our Kenmore is take 134 counts per minute minus 43.5 you got an overage of 90.5 divided by 43.5 equals you have almost three times background and you have a 208 percent above normal or 308 percent of normal we're at our three times background that the government says is a problem this came out of a Kenmore plasma wave HEPA filter after 30 days of use in Los Angeles which has received some of the lowest overt fallout in the United States and Canada and we're still picking up this amount of radiation alpha 
and or beta radiation. This is a problem. This is our problem. This is your problem. And you have to do something about it. If, of course, you care about what you're breathing. And uh, holiday season's coming up. You might want to think about some very practical gifts for you and yours. Michael Collins of ViralReporter.com, Wednesday, November 16th. Check back off and we'll post these, we'll post these results as soon as possible. Thank you.